Hi everyone, in this video I will be unboxing the Avantry Lift, which is a USB Bluetooth audio transmitter. The difference between this adapter and a standard USB Bluetooth dongle is that the Avantry Lift is detected by the operating system as if it were a USB sound card. Meanwhile, the USB Bluetooth dongle is detected, well, obviously, as a Bluetooth dongle by the operating system. So, it has it, it has a lot of pros, this thing, versus the Bluetooth adapter, um, as this is very easy to use compared to a standard um, USB Bluetooth dongle. Um, basically, because with the USB Bluetooth dongle, you have to configure your headset or Bluetooth adapter on Windows or Mac OS or Linux or other operating system while basically with this one you just plug and play and um, press the this button to pair it with your headphones and Bluetooth adapters and that's it. Also um, with the USB dongle adapter you are limited by the operating system Bluetooth capacities when you use a, a Bluetooth adapter or Bluetooth speaker headphones um, audio receiver um, basically you're limited by the OS capacities meanwhile with this adapter you will get low latency aptx audio which means that basically you plug and play to just um, insert this into your computer it is plug and play and if your headphone speaker bluetooth adapter receiver um, supports aptx low latency it will connect to that codec you will use that codec and and you will get the best audio experience ever um, with the again with the Bluetooth adapter with the USB Bluetooth dongle, um, you are limited by the OS, and you will either use the standard SBC codec or the standard APTX codec, depending on the OS. So basically, this provides the best experience ever. Um, let's unbox it. So let's see what's inside. Um, this is the back of the box, um, the front of the box, obviously. Um, there's nothing written in the sides, so it is just the front and back of the box. All right, so I'm going to open it. As you can see, it comes back like this. I'm going to, have to take this out. Let's see. So here are the adapter, and it comes with also a USB. Um, extension cable so you can um, extend the uh, the Avant relief and place it on, on another location or if you get poor signal you use the cable to to put the adapter in a place where you get the most signal on um, let's see what else comes um, lots of paper let's take the all of the instructions out warranty cards okay there's nothing more inside the box so first here we have a quick user guide Basically, it tells us um, what the adapter has, um, what the LED indicator colors means, um, how to pair it, um, how to reconnect, how to reset. It comes in different um, languages, you can see. All right. It comes with the user manual. This Basically, these two, the, the quick user guide and the user manual, are basically the same thing. Um, see, it's basically the same. It has the... Um, APTX latency, um, product overview, buttons, um, how to pair it, user, usage tips, um, the LED indicators. Basically, it's the same thing. Um, more extensive than this one. So that's the difference. Um, it comes with the this card. Basically, it tells us if you need, it tells you if you need help, um, not a further thing. And this is the um, another support card manufacturer warranty this is the warranty card and this is the satisfaction card so yeah I'm going to put it over here all right so let's see the Avantry leaf so it comes obviously with the Avantry leaf which is this This is the Avantry Leaf. I'm going to focus the camera because this camera sometimes doesn't uh, focus good. I'm very sorry for this. Um, focus, all right. 
And the good thing about this camera is that it offers manual focus, so now I'm, there we go. So this is the Avant Relief, you can see it. the back, and you can see, let's be connector. If we move this other over the size, we can block the USB port to protect it. Um, you can see it has the um, specification, model specification, and over here we have um, how to use the button. Yep. All right. I'm gonna put this camera on auto focus. There we go. And here is the USB extension cable. So basically, um, let me check something. Uh huh. Well, it says super speed over here, but um, the pin seems to be like USB 2.0 pins. I don't. I am not seeing USB 3.0 pins over here so I don't know if this is a typo or if this um, no, I don't think this is a USB 3.0 cable let me or maybe it is no but clearly I cannot see um, the, the other pins for USB 3.0 anyway the important thing here is that this is a USB extension cable so basically you can plug this over here and you connect this other side to your computer and you can extend the Avant Relief to place it on another place where you get better signal. So this is what you will get and of course I have another Avant Tree product here. This is the Avant Tree Clipper Pro. This has the IPTX low latency codec so it is the best um, adapter to use with the Avant Tree Leaf because they are both from the same company and it works also. Um, the Avant Relief um, allows you to use the Avant Tree Clipper buttons with your computer. When I use the this standard Bluetooth dongle, um, I compare the Avant Tree Clipper Pro with the computer. Um, I have to go to Windows settings, um, devices, Bluetooth, and pair it. Um, while with this, I just press the this button, and it will pair. Um, basically, with this um, Bluetooth dongle. I can use the volume button, yes, but that's all. I cannot use the multifunction buttons to play and pause the music. I cannot control the PC volume with this button. It just controls the volume of the Avantry Pro. I cannot change tracks um, um, for the next or previous track with this USB loaded. So all of these issues are solved with the Avantry Leaf. Um, the Avantry Leaf interprets the buttons correctly and when I press the volume buttons, it actually changed the computer volume buttons. Um, I mean, the computer volume. Um, the multifunction button actually works. I can pause and play music. Um, I can change tracks too. So basically, it is. Um, this is the perfect combination to listen music on your computer. Um, okay, so let me focus over here again. Um, basically, I don't have that computer over here, but you just press this and you will go over here. Um, when you use this for the first time, all you have to do is, um, you will see the this LED will blink when you connect it on your PC for the first time. You basically turn on your Bluetooth adapter and, well, let me check. It should enter pairing mode. Let's check again, okay. There we go, it is now in pairing mode. So basically this same LED combination, you will see it over here, and then it will stop pairing and you will get connect instantly. Um, that's how you normally use it. Um, one big, also one big um, pro of this adapter is that if you use a USB Bluetooth dongle, you have to pair 
the Avantri Clipper on every computer you use this adapter. Um, that problem is also solved with the Avantri Leaf because the the Bluetooth um, at, uh, receiver here. This is the transmitter and this is the receiver. Um, the this headphone adapter is basically stored inside the Avantri Leaf. It is not stored in your computer. So basically, once you pair it with this device, you can just plug and play on another PC, and you're ready to go. You don't have to do the same pairing over and over again, um, which can sometimes lead to trouble to with the operating system. Sometimes uh, mm, you have to play with the Bluetooth settings because it will not connect. Yeah, um, sometimes Windows is buggy in that respect. So that is solved with this one. And again, you get you get the best music quality with this one, as you will be using the aptX low latency codec. Um, Yep, that's basically it. Um, I recommend both products. I had this one for a few months now, and I received this um, a few days ago, so I highly recommend this product. Avantri is one of the best companies right now um, that make this kind of product. You can get this adapter on Amazon. Um, the link is shown in the comments of this video. You can get this on Amazon. And, whoa, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and use this adapter, don't use a USB dongle if you want to get the best experience ever. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please like this video, share it with your friends, comment on it and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.